Hey what's up guys, I'm Ixtlam and welcome to the 7th episode of the Pokemon Emerald series. Today we are continuing off from where we left last time and if you didn't watch the last video, which I think you should do, uh, we beat the Electric Gym in Marville. So without further ado, uh, let's continue. And straight away we've gotten ourselves into a double battle. So uh, how about I cut to when something interesting happens. So I'll be right back. Okay, so if you don't know, uh, this house is pretty special in the Ruby Sapphire Emerald, Emerald series. Um, it's basically a challenge where you take on an entire family and their Pokemon. Um, so I'm gonna do that and uh, gain some XP for both Mighty and, uh, and uh, should be able to take out this tail load. There we go. And I'm gonna hit him with a tackle. Ooh, to one here. That's beautiful. Okay, so obviously first one not too difficult But you do not get to have a single pulse in this challenge You just go on and on and you gotta play pretty smart to not die or to white out I should say <laughs> now. She only has a Roselia Seems like she's not gonna have any time to attack. I'm probably gonna be able to one hit Oh, never mind not one hit but take out yeah, I got this. Seems like I'm pretty over leveled for, for this challenge as well. Let's see how many Pokemon does she have. She has three Pokemon. Maril. I'm gonna use a Howl and then see how much Maril will do. Okay, never mind. She's just gonna set up some defense curls. I'm gonna try to stay in with my Diana for as long as I possibly can. I can do another Howl. Okay, so I'm set up with three howls right now, so I should be able to do some decent damage. But again, Meryl has used Defense Curl twice, so her defense is higher than usual. Defense Curl, I should still be able to take her out with this tackle. Yeah. And now I am set up with three howls still. Stun Spore. That's not good. I do have a Paralyze here. Okay, good. Because I really don't want to switch out. I really, really do not want to switch out. Because then all my Howls, my three setup Howls will not have any effect anymore. They will just disappear. Numel. Now, Numel can do some damage. But again, I am 10 levels higher and I have three Howls set up. So I should be able to take this. Oh, easy, easy. Not even a question about it. There we go. I believe that the grandma is the last challenger in this in this challenge. If I'm not way too mistaken. She only has one Pokemon, a Meditite. Now this Meditite from what I remember when I played this game when I was younger is that it's pretty strong. We're both setting up our attacks protected itself fine i used to howl i'm gonna try to tackle and i missed oh no she got another meditation in okay hmm that hurt i was kind of expecting that um i should be able to take out with electric though they're the same level. I wonder if a quick attack is enough. She might have a berry. I'm gonna chance it. Why not? It's not enough. I might get killed here. Yeah. Go up with Marshdump, who is 10 levels higher. So I'm about to absolutely destroy this Meditite. But they use Protect. Whatever. And I outspeed and the Meditite stun. It doesn't even stand a chance against my March Stomp. I try my best to not use March Stomp uh, right now because March Stomp is way, 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 way overpowered. Or way too overpowered, I should say, sorry. Um, but we get we got some good XP for my Diana there. So I'm gonna go heal and I'll be right back. 
HM06, which is Rock Smash. Um, so let's see who I can, who I can give Rock Smash to. I think my Diana is gonna have more use for it. Um, I don't wanna teach Rock Smash to Marsh Stomp because it's not the best move ever. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Sand Attack. So now we should be able to continue on over here. I would like to use Rock Smash. There we go. Okay, another battle. That's whatever. Uh, but again, I'll cut to when something interesting happens. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so... I actually think th I want to catch this. Um, Numel is a really good Pokemon, and if I'm not mistaken, he evolves into Torkoal, who's a pretty good fire type. So I would like to have a fire type on my team, and I don't really know why I went for <laughs> why I went for a Thunder Wave. Two, three, hey, there we go. Got Numel, if that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so I just found a Torkoal. So I'm gonna try to capture this Torkoal instead. And I can, I, I guess I could still have Numel in my team, to be honest. I don't think it would hurt having him on the team. And you know what? He, Numel can still be there. He can be a really good addition to either be a Pokemon to take a hit or a Pokemon to bring out when you want to revive another Pokemon or something like that. So I'm gonna catch this Torkoal as well. Uh, so I'll be back when I get him, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch him with a Pokeball. If I'm as lucky as I was with the Numel. Two, three. Hey, there we go. You want to know something I just realized? And that I completely forgot about. That Numel doesn't actually evolve into Torkoal. I don't really know where I got that from. Because Numel evol doesn't evolve into Torkoal. It evolves into Camerupt. And I know that. But for some reason, I... I don't know, I thought he, he evolved into Torkoal there for a while, but I just realized he doesn't. So, sooner or later, I will have a camera up, maybe, if I don't switch him out, that is. Uh, but I doubt I will do that right now. Uh, but I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon again, uh, so I'll be back when something when something happens. I'll be, so I'll be right back with you. I didn't realize I actually just walked past these guys. But I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Uh, you got it. And until they come back, we're not letting anyone pass. Okay, I guess. Okay, so I made my way to Fall Arbor. Uh, I'm gonna wanna heal my Pokemon. There we go. Meteor Falls. Meteor Falls, Rossboro City through here. Huh. Now what is happening over here? With this meteorite, that thing in Monshini will... Will what? Expect no mercy. So there's a conflict here between Team Aqua and Team Magma, or at least Team Magma one of, or just found a meteorite to do something that has something to do with Mount Chimney.
gotta hurry. Uh, there's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Farewell. Hmm. Cosmo, I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my Meteor, meteor right away. And then another, another similar branch team up was showed up. I don't I understand any of it. Okay, so basically, it's all hinting towards me, uh, towards me going to Mount Chimney. Um, but that's not something I'm gonna do this episode. There, I have some optional gyms right now. If I'm not way off. I, I believe I have, uh, like, two optional gyms I can go to. Um, but I'm not gonna do any of that in this video, because I've already been recording for 40 minutes. Uh, 41 now. So I think that about does it for this video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, and if you disliked it, please leave a dislike and comment why you didn't like it, because I would really, really like to improve. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, as I said, Thank you so much for watching this video, have a good one, and goodbye.